Hello, my dear students. Myself, Dr. Pitam Barumne, founder of Botany for you, and working as associate professor and head department of Botany, Dharampet M.P. Dev Memorial Science College, Nagpur, Maharashtra, India. I welcome you all in this online platform for the students of Life Sciences Botany for you. Friends, if you are new or not yet subscribed our YouTube channel, then kindly like, share, and subscribe our YouTube channel Botany for you. And if you are interested. to associate with us through telegram group then you can join the telegram group with the link given in the description so that you can access the different pdf books as well as the advertisements or the appointments from india and abroad in today's lecture we will see the diffusion which is our second lecture in this lecture series on plant physiology so let's see the diffusion process which is one of the most important and the basic process in the plant physiology before going to see the definition of the diffusion we can see some of the examples around us say for example if some of the gas is present inside the bottle and if we open that bottle in the room then that gas will be spread in complete room in the similar manner if we put one spoon of the sugar or salt in a glass of water then automatically there will be the spreading or the distribution of the salt or the sugar in the complete water in the glass so what happen during these different processes if you see this solid which is present that is moving from the region of higher concentration to the region of lower concentration that is known as the diffusion means we can say the transport of solid particles this is very important whenever we are talking about the diffusion that transport of solid particles from the region of higher concentration to the region of lower concentration if you see this diagram you will find that these are the solid particles and their concentration is present high outside the cell and because of that these particles are diffusing inside the cell so this diffusion will be carried out till the concentration achieve the similarness to the outer side as well as the inside and that is known as the equilibrium so because of such a type of the transport of different solid particles from outside to inside the plant body or from one cell to another cell it is very important to know the diffusion once again i am going to repeat the definition that transport of solid particles from the region of higher concentration to the region of lower concentration that is known as the diffusion if you see this another example that is liquid to liquid this is an indigo and here in the glass there is a water so here there is a presence of higher concentration of the indigo but later on it is start to spread all over the glass and later on it is spread completely so this is because of what because there is a presence of the certain free energy in the solid particles and which is responsible for the diffusion of this particles or the solid particles of the indigo all over the water body 
some other example we can take that here it is very common process in our houses that is agarbatti or dhoop we are lighting and if you see this smoke you know this smoke is spreading completely in the room so this is again the simple process of the diffusion and earlier i told you if we put the certain sugar or the salt in the water then also there is a complete diffusion of the solid particles and in this way from the region of higher concentration to the region of lower concentration there is a transport of the solid particle and this movement is carried out till it reach the equilibrium when they will be evenly distributed there is no need of the movement of the solid particles if you see the diffusion then the process of the diffusion is depend upon the certain factors number 1 that is the rate of the diffusion pressure gradient is steeper means if say for example there is a movement of the particles from the region of higher concentration to the region of lower concentration and if this diffusion pressure gradient is steeper then there will be the high rate or the rate of the diffusion will automatically increase then the temperature is increase you know very well if you can take a one spoon of the sugar in one glass of the water and keep it as it is that is in a cold water and take another glass containing the hot water and also containing one spoon of the sugar you will find that the diffusion of the sugar molecules that is the solid will be faster in the hot it indicate that if the temperature is increase the rate of the diffusion increases then again the density of the diffusing particle is lesser if you see the density of the diffusing particles that is solid if it is less then the diffusion will increase and if the density is higher then the rate of the diffusion will decrease hence we can say that the diffusion pressure will be more if the density of the particle is lesser then next one that is the medium through which diffusion occur is less concentrated say for example if we have one glass of the water and if it contain the two spoon of the sugar already and if we take the another glass which contain the one spoon of the sugar it means that here the concentration will be the higher and here the concentration will be the lower in such a cases the diffusion will be higher in the solution where it is less concentrated this means that the medium through which the diffusion occur is less concentrated if it is more concentrated automatically the diffusion rate will be decreased then the question arises why we are studying the diffusion in plant physiology because whenever we are talking about the plant physiology then the plant physiology is nothing but to study the different chemical reactions different processes which are carried out inside the cell inside the tissues or the organs and hence the diffusion is one of the process which is carried out during these different living processes like the anabolic and the catabolic reactions if you see the plant then the simple process of the transpiration that is the release of the water vapors from the plant body then absorption 
of the oxygen and carbon dioxide either from the leaf or the atmosphere or even from the soil by the roots in addition to that again there is a synthesis of the food material by the process of photosynthesis and again it is provided to each and every part of the body in addition to the water there is a absorption of different minerals so all these things are related to that of the diffusion if you see the simple absorption of the minerals that is nothing but the process of the diffusion again the absorption of the carbon dioxide and the oxygen from the environment by the plant body with the help of leaves or the roots that is also carried out with the simple process of the diffusion even when in the transpiration the water vapors are released that is also through the diffusion and hence there is necessity to study the diffusion in the plant physiology and the last one topic here that is the importance of diffusion how the diffusion is important in the different processes in the plant body that is first one that is the exchange of the gases in the photosynthesis and the respiration we know that in the photosynthesis there is a need to absorb carbon dioxide for the synthesis of the carbohydrate and in respiration there is a need to absorb the oxygen for the oxidation of the carbohydrates so in this way we can say that both these processes are completely dependent upon the exchange of the gases with the environment that is absorption of the carbon dioxide and release of the oxygen and here in the respiration the absorption of the oxygen and release of the carbon dioxide that is nothing but the exchange of the gases so this complete exchange of the gases are dependent upon the process of the diffusion second one that is the passive uptake of the salts or the minerals if we see the root and there will be a uh, minerals in the soil in a higher concentration then automatically from the region of higher concentration to the region of lower concentration that will be diffused and hence the passive uptake or the absorption of the salts or the minerals from the soil is also carried out by the plants with the help of simple process of the diffusion and the third one that is the stomatal transpiration that we have seen earlier that the release of the water vapors so this release of the water vapor is again carried out by the simple method of the diffusion because there is an increase in the water vapor pressure inside the stomatal cavity and because of that the water vapors are released from the stomata to outer side that is in the environment so this is also carried out by the simple process of the diffusion so friends i am very much hopeful and confident that this lecture will be helpful to you in understanding the simple method of the diffusion and how the diffusion is helpful to understand the different processes in the plant body if you like this lecture and if it is useful to you then kindly like share and subscribe our youtube channel botany for you and also press bell icon for the alerts of every lecture to be uploaded on different life sciences titles thanks a lot once again